McCaffrey back there. Yeah, I, I was about to say, yeah. Corp. Picking it up from this one, and I can't switch it. I tried to switch it, and it's not picking up sound from that one now. So.
That's the one too. That's the one too. That's the one too. That's the one too. Testing one two, testing one two. Freaking A.
Testing, testing, one, two. Trip, you can hear me, right? Right, I think we are good to go. Carter Polchak at the plate for the Hornets, leading 3-1 here in the bottom of the second inning over your Heber Springs Panthers here from Joe T. Robinson High School. Panthers and Maumel meeting on the diamond here at Joe T. Robinson due to bad field conditions at Maumel High School. So they hopped across the river over here to Joe T. and we're gonna play some baseball. Pitch is high there. Count goes to two and two. Paul Check takes his hack and he pops it foul out of play over the net. Again, Hornets lead 3 1 here. Billy Smallwood coming to you live from the F.L. Davis Ace broadcast position, and Paul Check sends one foul down the left field line. Panthers come in 7-7 seven and seven on the season after losing Tuesday afternoon to Morrillton, 11-6. That pitch is a little low, and the count goes full at 3-2 and two to Paul Check here. Ball's low, and Polchak jaws a walk here for the Hornets as they have another runner on base. And coming to the plays, number 15, Tanner Kinley for the Hornets. No outs. They're in the bottom of the second inning. Here comes the pitch. He's going to try to steal second, and the throw is offline by, for Sneed. He a little confused there, and runner reaches second safely. That pitch is called a strike as the count goes to 0-1 here on Tanner Kinley for Maumel. Thank all of you for tuning in live back at home, back in Heber Springs, wherever you may be. We always like to hear from whoever's tuning in. Little soft little dribbler down to the third base and JT Spears couldn't field it there. No play made as uh, Tanner Kinley makes it to first easily and Polchek scoots over to third as the Hornets now have runners at first and third, no outs here. Corbin Jones on the mound for the Panthers and we're gonna have Coach Ryan Bridges come out and visit with Corbin here on the mound. I want to take a few moments to thank some of our sponsors for being able to bring these live streams to you folks. AOS Tree Service, First Electric Cooperative, Allen Furniture, Tina Sewell with Rock Mortgage Lending, Hook and Ladder Throwing Company, McKenzie Realty, Centennial Bank, First United Methodist Church, Tim Brewer Shelter Insurance, Carissa Clements with U.S. Bank Home Mortgage, Eagle Pest Management, Edless Sean State Farm Insurance, Eagle Bank, Jet Fest Motor Brokers, 
Opera Termite Pest Control, First National Bank, Sugarloaf Medical Clinic, Arkansas Vacation Rentals, Angie's Hideaway, and Lakeview Pond. We want to thank all these Panther Baseball Boosters for sponsoring today's baseball game here at Joe T. Robinson High School. So here comes Alan, Alan Timmons to the plate for Maumel. No outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Runners on first and third for the Hornets. Here comes the pitch from Jones. It's high and it's 1-0 count to Timmons. Pretty chilly day out here. The wind is blowing and multiple people bundled up in their hoodies and their blankets out here with their hot chocolate. It's still a good day for baseball nonetheless. That pitch goes in the dirt. Ball two. 2-0 two count to Timmons here for the Hornets. Jones gets the sign. He deals. Swing and a miss. That's strike one to Timmons. Two and one count here to Timmons. Three to one lead for the Hornets. No outs here in the bottom of the second inning. He pops that one foul and into the bleachers nearly. Out of play. Count goes two and two. Ball goes outside and Timmons draws a walk there. So that brings up Blaze Ward to the plate for the Hornets. Still no outs here. For Maumel in the bottom of the second inning. Bases loaded here. Count goes two and one here to Blaze Ward for the Hornets. And he sends one out to uh, right center field. And he's, that sends Xander Lindley way back there to the wall and he's gonna finally recover. But two runs have come in for the Hornets. Three coming around as Timmons will score from first. Hornets have blown it open here. It is six to one, Maumel. Pardon me, it is nine to one, Maumel. As they played six runs in the bottom of the second inning here. Still no outs and Corbin Jones' time on the mound is going to be done here. It looks like JT Spears will be taking the bump for the Panthers. J.T. Spears will come on the bump for the Panthers, relieving Corbin Jones here. Hornets lead it 9-1 to one here in the bottom of the second inning. No outs still from Joe T. Robinson High School. Billy Smallwood coming to you live from the F.L. Davis Ace broadcast position.
JT Spears getting some warm up pitches in here. Once again, we want to thank all of our sponsors and boosters for being able to allow us to bring these live streams to you. And we will get back to the action here as Hank Gillespie steps to the plate for the Hornets against JT Spears for the Panthers. Runner on second for the Hornets, a nine to one lead. That ball's in the dirt. That allows the runner to scoot to third. Count goes to 1-0. and oh. JT Spears gets the sign. Pitches in for a strike. Count goes to one and one. Pardon me, they did fix the score. It is only six to one. Pardon me, Panther fans. I was wondering where they had gotten those extra runs from and it was not making sense, so they fixed it. It's only six to one. Oh, and that eats up uh, Sneed over there at second base, and he's still able to make the throw to first, but a run scores for the Hornets, and that's seven to one now. One out here in the bottom of the second inning. Number 25, Peyton Lee comes to the plate for the Hornets, the center fielder. He comes in with a leading seven to one with one out. JT Spears kicks and deals, strike one. Here comes pitch number two. Peyton Lee takes a hack at it and fouls it off. Count goes to 0 and two. Two count here to Peyton Lee. JT Spears gets the sign. He kicks. Ball's high. One and two count here to Peyton Lee. Peyton Lee sends one out near the right field line, but it's and it's clearly down. That's gonna Get him to second base with a double. An easy stand-up double there for Peyton Lee for the Hornets. Brendan Rochelle comes to the plate now for Maumel. 7-1 lead here in the bottom of the second inning. One out here for the Hornets. JT Spears kicks and deals. Rochelle fouls that one off. 0 and 1 count. JT Spears, balls outside, count goes to one and one here.
Brandon Rochelle for the Hornets. One ball, one strike, one out. Hornets lead seven to one here. Joe T. Robinson High School. Rochelle sends that one pop up to the second baseman. Sneed pedaling back and he can't get there. Allows, allows the runner to get to third and off the misplay, Rochelle safe at first. So Brennan Pritchett comes up, the designated hitter for the Hornets. Still only one out here in the bottom of the second inning. That pitch bounces back to the screen. That's going to score another run for the Hornets. As Peyton Lee scoots across the plate from third, it's 8-1 to one now. Maumel here in the bottom of the second inning. Only one out here. One out count here. To Brennan Pritchett for the Hornets. J.T. Spears gets the sign. He kicks. Ball's chopped foul down the third base line. Count goes to one and one. Pitch comes in to Pritchett, and he swings and misses. Count goes to one and two. JT Spears turns around quick and tries to get the runner at second. Nothing doing there. J.T. Spears kicks and deals. Ball's high. Count goes to two and two. To Brennan Pritchett here, the designated hitter for the Hornets, leading eight to one here in the bottom of the second inning. J.T. Spears kicks and deals. Pritchett sends one deep, shallow center field, and the Ball is dropped there by Xander Lindley, it looks like. Go, keep doing work. That would allow Pritchett to reach safely. That brings up Tag Andrews for the Hornets. Hornets getting a pinch runner in here. Eight to one lead for Maumel here in the bottom of the second inning. Only one out here. JT Spears on the mound. Tag Andrews comes to the plate for the Hornets. Tag Andrews gets that one to the third base. Corbin Jones takes it, rifles it over to first, and he's safe. Runner gets to third. Runners on bases loaded here for the Hornets. As Carter Polchek comes to the plate again.
hitting some words of encouragement there from head coach from Maumel. Carter Palchek steps into the plate. Bases loaded here for the Hornets. Eight to one lead. One out here in the bottom of the second inning here from Joe T. Robinson High School. J.T. Spears kicks and deals, and Paul Check sends that one deep to the wall. That's going to score a run for the Hornets. Hey Lozo out there in left field for the Panthers. Tried to wrangle that one in. It's nine to one here now for the Hornets as Tanner Kinley comes to the plate once again. That pitch is outside from JT Spears. Count goes to one and oh. He rockets that one down, foul ball down the third baseline. Count goes to one and one. Comes his pitch from JT Spears and it's just a slow little shot there to Sneed at second, he's able to get the throw over to McBroom at first and get the out, but another run scores for the Hornets. It is now 10 to one with two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Timmons coming to the plate once again for Maumel. Timmons drew a walk and was able to come around all the way from third and score for the Hornets last inning. Pardon me, I said last inning. That was his last at bat. Same inning. Ball's low in the dirt. Count goes 2 and 0 here to Timmons. Pitch from J.T. Spears is low. 3-0 count here to Timmons. Runners on second and third. Two outs here. Bottom of the second inning is 10-1. to one. The Hornets lead over the Panthers. Pitch is in there for a strike from J.T. Spears. 3-1 count here to Timmons for the Hornets. Again, runners on second and third. Here comes the pitch. And he sends it right past McBroom at first, and that's going to score two runs easily for the Hornets. As Timmons, Timmons sent that shot right by McBroom at first base, and with runners at second and third, already in scoring position, it is now 12-1 to Hornets here in the bottom of the second inning. Two outs. And Blaze Ward coming to the plate once again for the Hornets, his second at bat this inning. Spears gets the sign, he kicks, he deals, and he deals over to first. Trying to get the runner at first, nothing doing there. Spears trying to go over to first again, nothing doing. T. Spears trying to get Timmons over there at first. Here comes the pitch from Jay. This 
So no pitch there as the umpire called time. JT Spears kicks and deals, and that's sent up to second baseman to Keaton Sneed. Sneed feels it, feels it over to first, and that'll be the half inning. Inning is over for the Hornets as they lead it 12 to 1 as we head to the top of the third. Right here from Joe T. Robinson High School. Your Panthers trail 12 to 1 here to the Hornets. So Cole Payton comes to the plate here for the Panthers. One on one count here to Payton. Panthers trail 12 to one here in the top of the third. Pitch is taken by Cole Payton for a two one count here. Pitch comes high to Payton and it's a three one count here to Cole. Pitch is called a strike there by the umpire. Full count here to Cole Payton. Ryan Massaris deals to Payton and he gets him. Never mind, umpire says he's safe and he'll draw the walk to first. That brings up Keenan Sneed to the plate for the Panthers and Easton Cusick will go out and courtesy run for Cole Payton so he can come in and get his catcher's gear on. Sneed comes to the plate for the Panthers. No outs here in the top of the third inning. Panthers trail 12 to one here to the Hornets right here on the campus of Joe T. Robinson High School. Once again, Panthers and Hornets had to move the game over here to Joe T. Robinson due to bad field conditions over at Maumelle. As that pitch drops in there for a strike to Sneed. 0 and 1 count. Here comes the second pitch from Morsaris. Sneed takes strike two. Oh, 2 count here to Sneed. Runner on first here for the Panthers. No outs here in the Top of the third inning, trailing 12 to one here to the Hornets. Sneed gets a little foul tip on that one. Count stays 0 and 2. Woo! 
That pitch drops in there for a strike, and that's a strike out there for Rosaris for the Hornets as he strikes out Keenan Sneed and one out here in the top of the third for the Panthers. Trailing 12 to 1 here, and Mommel's head coach going to go out and have a word with his pitcher. You can put him up there again. So Ryan Massaris, his day is going to be done here for the Hornets as he's relieved off the mound, leading with a 12 to 1 lead. So the Hornets will bring in Jalen Williams to pitch for the Hornets. What an interesting name there, Jalen Williams to pitch for Maumel here. <laughs> so Jalen Williams will come in to pitch for the Hornets. He'll get his warm-up pitches started as Corbin Jones will be coming to bat for the Panthers with one out here in the top of the third inning. Billy Smallwood coming to you live from the FL Davis Ace broadcast position right here at Joe T. Robinson High School. Very nice facilities here at Joe T. Robinson. A very nice turf infield. Beautiful natural grass outfield. Corbin Jones will come to the plate for the Panthers. Trailing 12 to one, one out here in the top of the third inning and Jalen Williams pitching now for the Hornets. Jones pops it up and he's out for out number two. That'll bring up Zane Lozo to the plate for the Panthers. Jalen Williams kicks and deals to Lozo. Ball's high for a 1 0 count. Two outs here for the Panthers. The top of the third inning, tra trailing 12 to 1 here to the Hornets. And now Lozo pops that one back in into the parking lot. That pitch drops in there for a strike. One and two count here to Lozo. And he gets him there as Jalen Williams drops that one in for strike three on Zane Lozo. And that'll end the Panthers half inning as we go to the bottom of the third. The Panthers trail 12 to one here to the Maumel Hornets from Joe T. Robinson High School.
Billy Smallwood coming to you back live from the F.L. Davis Ace Broadcast position right here at Joe T. Robinson High School. As the Maumel Hornets lead your Panthers 12 to 1 here in the bottom of the third inning. As number two, Hank Gillespie steps in for the Hornets. Fouls off strike one. 0 and 1 count to Gillespie here. JT Spears still on the mound for the Panthers. Pardon me, that is Liam Buffalo that is now on the mound for Heber Springs. Buffalo dealing so far. He's got a one and two count here to Gillespie. Buffalo kicks and deals. Drops that one in a little bit outside for a 2-2 two -two count. Here comes the pitch from Buffalo. It's a little low. Count goes full to Gillespie for the Hornets. Panthers trail 12-1 here. Bottom of the third inning. No outs. And Gillespie batting. He sends that one foul and out of play. And now Gillespie sends a shot out to right center field and Gage Buford can't get a hold of it as Snead, he tries to get it back into Snead and Snead places the tag on Gillespie but umpire says he's safe at second. That'll bring up Peyton Lee for the Hornets. Buffalo says a pitch in there and he kicks it out to Sneed. Sneed fields it and sends it over to Brink Broom for the out. One out here for the Hornets here in the bottom of the third inning. As the courtesy runner for Gillespie scoots to third. Got time called here. Substitute here for the Hornets as number 44 Chandler Eubanks will come in to bat. So Chandler Eubanks comes in to bat for the Hornets here in the bottom of the third. The Hornets lead 12 to 1 here over the Panthers of Heber Springs. One out here. Buffalo kicks and deals, pitches a little low for ball one, 1-0 one -oh count. Pitch goes high, 2-0 count here to Eubanks. Fouls that one back. Count goes to 2-1 and one here to Eubanks. Two and one count here to Eubanks. One out here in the bottom of the third. Buffalo throws a heater past him for strike two. Buffalo kicks and deals, swing and a miss. That's strike three from Eubanks as Buffalo sends him down on strikes. 
two outs here for the Hornets now in the bottom of the third. As Grayson, Grayson Johnston comes to the plate now for Maumel. Buffalo kicks and deals. Strike one. Buffalo fires a second pitch in there. It's low for a ball. Count goes to one and one. Foul tips that one off. Count goes to one and two. One and two count here. Two outs here for the Hornets in the bottom of the third inning, leading 12 to one over the Panthers. That pitch is high. Count goes to two and two. That pitch goes high, count go full here. Ryan Bridges and the umpire visiting here. So Jamison Burton will come to the plate now for Maumel, runner on first and third. Two outs here at the bottom of the third inning. Buffalo kicks and deals, a pitch goes outside. Ball one. 1-0 one count here. The Jamison Burton. Buffalo deals, pitch is high again. Runner scoots to second freely. No throw from Peyton. Count goes to two and zero. Oh. Buffalo deals. Pitch is low. Three zero oh count here to Jamison Burton for the Hornets. That pitch drops in there from Buffalo for a strike. Three and one count here to Jamison Burton. Two outs here. Bottom of the third inning. Buffalo deals a swing and a miss. That count goes full. Jamison Burton, full count. Here comes Buffalo with the pitch. It's high and Burton will take his base. As the Hornets now have bases loaded here for Carter Palchek to come in to bat once again. Carter Palchek, bases loaded here for the Hornets. Two outs, leading 12 to one. He pops one foul and out of play.
Good pitch there by Liam Buffalo. Count goes 0-2 here to Paul Check. Swing and a miss by Paul Check, and Buffalo gets him on strikes. As we head to the top of the fourth inning, it is 12-1 Hornets from right here at Joe T. Robinson High School. Once again, we want to thank all of our boosters for allowing us to bring you the live stream back in Heber Springs, wherever you may be tuning in at. Give some of these sponsors some mentions for being able to bring the live streams to you. AOS Tree Service, Fresh Electric Cooperative, Allen Furniture, Tina Sewell with Rock Mortgage Lending, Hook and Ladder Throwing Company, McKenzie Realty, Centennial Bank, First United Methodist Church, Tim Brewer Shelter Insurance, Carissa Clemens with U.S. Bank Home Mortgage, Eagle Pest Management, Ed LeSean, State Farm Insurance, Eagle Bank, Jet Fast Motor Brokers, Hopper Termite Pest Control, First National Bank, Sugarloaf Medical Clinic, Arkansas Vacation Rentals, Angie's Hideaway, and Lakeview Pond. Big, big thank you to these Panther Baseball Boosters and Softball Boosters for allowing us to bring these live streams to you. So Jalen Williams stays on the bump for the Hornets. And J.T. Spears will come to the plate for the Panthers. It's a 12 to one lead here for the Hornets in the top of the fourth inning. Have some substitutions here that the umpire is going over, so they're just trying to make sure everything is correct in the books and on paper and whatnot. And then we are good to go here. JT Spears steps in and he sends one foul and over past the dugout. 0 and 1 count here to Spears. Jelly Williams on the mound for the Hornets. He kicks, he deals. Ball goes low. One-on-one -on -one count here to Spears. J.T. Spears sends a blooper to first base, and he catches it. Makes an acrobatic dive out there at first base, and that's going to be the first out for the Panthers here in the top of the fourth. So now Jalen Williams is going to be done on the bump for the Hornets as we will get a new pitcher for Maumel coming into the game. Let's see who the Hornets come out of here with, and it is going to be, I believe, number 18 here. Number 16, that is Kevin Hamilton, will be on the bump for the Hornets now.
So Kevin Hamilton, Kevin Hamilton is on the mound for the Hornets, and John McBroom steps to the plate with one out here for the Panthers. That ball drops right in there for a strike. 0 and 1 count here to McBroom. Pitch goes outside for a ball. It's one on one count here to John McBroom for the Panthers. The ball skirts inside and two and one count here to McBroom. One out here for the Panthers in the top of the fourth inning. Pitch is in there for a strike. Two and two count here to McBroom. Kevin Hamilton kicks. He deals to McBroom. Ball's low. Three two count. Count full here to McBroom from Hamilton. McBroom takes ball four, and he'll take his base over at first base. That brings in Ty West for the Panthers. Ty West comes to the plate for Heber Springs. Only one out here in the top of the fourth inning. He's got a runner at first. Hamilton deals. Pitches high to West. Ball one. Count goes to 1-0 to West here. Hamilton kicks, he deals. Ball two, 2-0 two count here to Ty West. Ty West showing a good eye at the plate here. 3-0 count here from Hamilton. That pitch drops in there for a strike. 3 1 count here to Ty West. One out here for the Panthers in the top of the fourth, trailing 12 1 here to the Hornets on the campus of Joe T. Robinson High School. Pitches outside, and Ty West draws the walk as well. Brings up Gage Buford for the Panthers. Hamilton kicks and deals to Buford. Swing and a miss. Strike one from Buford. Oh, and one count here to Buford. Hamilton kicks. Checks on the runners. Ball goes outside. One and one count. Ball goes low. Two and one count here to Buford. Ball goes outside. Three and one count here to Gage Buford for the Panthers.
Buford sends one to the shortstop. He fields it, fields it over to first, try to get the double play, but they only get the runner at second. So runners safe at first and third. Two outs here for the Panthers in the top of the fourth inning, and Liam Buffalo will come to the plate for Heber Springs. So Lee Buffalo comes to the plate for the Panthers. Two outs here at the top of the fourth inning. Runners at first and third. Hamilton kicks and deals. Pitch is high. Ball one to Lee Buffalo. Buffalo fouls that one back to the screen to a one and one count. Two outs here for the Panthers. Hamilton kicks. Buffalo sends that one out of play. One ball, two strike. Two strikes to Liam Buffalo here. Two outs. Top of the fourth. That ball is outside. Two and two count to Buffalo. Buffalo's going to take that one and send it foul, but play is nearly made right there in foul territory, but it is not. So, therefore, count stays at 2-2 two and two to Buffalo here. Buffalo sends that one foul and out of play. <laughs> Hamilton kicks and deals to Buffalo. Pitches outside. Count goes full to Liam. Here comes the full count pitch. It's low. And Buffalo will take his base at first. Two outs here for the Panthers. Still, base is loaded now for Cole Payton. Trailing 12 to 1 here in the top of the fourth inning to the Maumel Hornets. Payton comes to the plate. Base is loaded. Two outs. Swing and a miss, strike one to Peyton. On one count here to Cole Peyton for the Heber Springs Panthers. Hamilton kicks and deals for the Hornets. Count goes to one and one. Panthers get caught in a mishap there, and runner gets gunned down at first, trying to get back to first. And that'll end the half inning for the Panthers as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Panthers trail 12 to one here to the Hornets. You're listening to Panther Baseball on 101.9 The Lake.
Count goes to one and two on Timmons here. One out here for the Hornets here in the top, in the bottom of the fourth inning. Still leading 12 to one over the Panthers here. Billy Smallwood coming to you live from the FL Davis ace broadcast position. Ball goes low to Timmons. Count goes two and two. Buffalo still on the mound for the Panthers. He kicks and he deals. Sends a chopper right back to him, and he fills it over to first for the out, and that's two outs here for the Hornets here in the bottom of the fourth. Means Paxton Compton comes to the plate for the Hornets. Pitch goes in there, and he strikes out Paxton Compton for the Hornets. Good pitch by Liam Buffalo there. As we head to the top of the fifth inning, the Hornets still lead 12-1 to over the Panthers here. You're listening to Panther Baseball on 101.9 The Lake. All right, Panther fans, we are back to action here in the top of the fifth inning here. Cole Payton comes to the plate for the Panthers. No outs here. 2 0 count here to Payton. 12 to 1, the Panthers trail here in the top of the fifth inning to the Hornets. Payton sends that one foul and out of play. Two and one count here to Cole Payton for the Panthers. Popped up way in the infield to the around the first baseman. He's got it for the Hornets. One out here for the Panthers in the top of the fifth. Be... 
Sneed comes in to the plate for the Panthers. Number 17 on the mound now, Parker Gambrell. That's a shot to second, and he feels it cleanly, and he scoops it out of the dirt for the out for the Hornets. What a play there by the second baseman for Maumel. Jamison Burton made that play out there at second base for the Hornets. So now Panthers possibly down to their final out here as Corbin Jones comes to the plate. And he pops it up and it's gonna be caught. It's caught by the catcher and that's the ball game here, folks. The Hornets take it 12 to one over the Panthers here at Joe T. Robinson High School. As the Panthers were able to once again push a run across in the first inning, but then it was all Hornets in these first period to which they got to bat and in the second inning as they put up three runs in the first nine in the second for a 12 to 1 win here over your Heber Springs Panthers we'd like to thank everybody for tuning in back in Heber Springs wherever you're at tuning in from to our YouTube and Facebook live on 101.9 the lake I want to thank all of our sponsors and everybody for giving us the opportunity to bring you these live streams. And for Billy Smallwood, Ali Sugg, uh, Billy Morgan, Adrian Rushing, John Simmons, and everybody at 101.9 The Lake, and also a big help, a big thank you, a big shout out to our uh, helper, Trip Keeter, for coming down here and, and helping us out with the live stream as well. And that's right, folks. We'll see you on Monday as the Lady Panthers will get their debut on the live stream as they will play the Batesville Lady Pioneers. We'll have that live stream for you Monday afternoon on 101.9 The Lake, YouTube and Facebook, folks. So for Billy Smallwood, we'll see you next time.